Hey everyone, it's Normal Life. Welcome back to my channel with another Gwen video where we're going to look at a glutzy custom deck I've built. I was testing it last night on my live stream and it worked really well. Uh, we're going to look at this deck, guys. We're going to get to the deck build. Before we do that, guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like these. Like and comment on this video as well because it can actually perform this video better in the YouTube algorithm. And also to watch me play Gwen live, you can do that on Twitch TV. So it's Normal Life Gaming. Just search for that or click on the link below in the description of this video. So let's get into this deck. It is a, a complete swarm deck where you consume your own cards. That's what it's mainly based on. Uh, so let's go through each card and let's go through this the strategy we want to do when playing this deck. Uh, so we're going to have a ratchet swarm. Basically, we want to have those the drones that come out uh, because if we do that, we basically consume all of them uh, with a glitter warp. Uh, so that's the main game. But the we also can use the drones as well from the swarm to uh, basically destroy cards to get our griffins out for Mamuna value. So if we have strategy, which is the blue coin, uh, we have tactical advantage. Uh, you can actually have any that you want, um, or it could be crystal skull to have veil as well. So there's lots of different ones that you can have, but I just have tactical advantage just to get myself over the finish line in round one if I do have it. Then we have She Who Knows. She Who Knows is great for carryover to put more pressure on your opponent because they've got to worry about this card because you they don't want you to have carryover for the next round. They want to try and probably bleed you. So this gives them less reason to bleed you. So this has resilience uh, if you have Sabbath. So Sabbath basically is when you have 25 points or more in a row. Then we have Mamuna. Mamuna is basically used for the Griffins. So what we want to do is play Mamuna in the last round. So get rid of it in the first hand. If you ha if you have it, we don't really want it. Um, so what we're going to do, we play a Griffin in the first round. The Griffin will then go, when we play into the last round, we'll go into the graveyard. And what we want to do, we'll use Mamuna straight away. We don't want to have Sabbath for this because if we have the um, ability from Griffin, it destroys a card, which is not good for us. So we uh, play Mamuna, we play the order ability. Uh, we gain the nine points from Mamuna. Mamuna, and then also we summon, we don't play, we summon a Griffin uh, with us. So that's basically, this is a 20 point card, a 20 point uh, uh, slam card down. So it's really, really good to use, guys, Mamuna, but try and mainly use it for the Griffins. Then we have Jurgen. Jurgen basically, you want to put this down straight away because you want to get the full armor out of this, uh, which will be nine armor because it copies how many uh, cards that you have in your hand and equals it to armor, which is going to be nine if you put it obviously the first card down. Uh, now it is vulnerable because if it loses all its armor, it then destroy itself. But dealing with nine armor is quite a lot to deal with your opponent, so it may actually survive the round. If it doesn't survive, that's absolutely fine. It gives your opponent something to think about because that's obviously a high point card. So if they want to use all the removals on this, that's absolutely fine because we're going to consume this later. So when it goes to the graveyard, we're going to consume it and get the full 13 points back. Then we have Igni. Yes, I know Igni. People don't like it, but Igni has to be in this deck uh, or another type of removal. I prefer Igni. It comes in clutch for myself. Uh, so Igni is basically to probably secure round one, really. Uh, or if you want to have a long round three, that's absolutely fine. You can use it then. So Igni is the only... Uh, we've only got a few removals, but it's the only big uh, whole um, high removal that we have uh, in this deck. And Igni, uh, basically, it has two abilities. The initiative. So if a row has 20 points or more, it'll destroy the high units if they're equal numbers um but obviously this is when you do it in the first turn because it's initiative or it has deploy so if a row has 35 points or more uh, you can use any other orders that you've got on your side and then you can use this as the deploy but it has to have 35 points or more in a row uh, so make sure you read the description when playing this because some people can use this wrong uh, so igni is really good for us to probably secure round one then we have Royal Decree. Royal Decree is really good to have because uh, we need a bit of thinning and we need to find the cards that we want, especially, for example, if we uh, Mulligan Mamuna, we want to probably find it later. So um, Royal Decree is really good to have to find the key cards in the last round or in the first round if we don't have any good cards in our first round. Then we have a Glitzer Warp. Glitzer Warp is a, basically the star of the show. So we use this with our leader ability to spawn as many drones as we can. And also we have other cards that spawn drones. So we want to try and spawn as many drones as we can without obviously clogging ourselves. And if our enemy has also uh, one point cards as well, it'll destroy everything and then boost itself by two for each one it's destroyed. So it's a really high point card. You can get up to like 40 points with this. So it's really, really um, good card to have, guys. Um, obviously, the bad thing is if we can't find it and we want to use our drones that's the only bad thing if we never find it in our hand in any of the rounds really then we have Elza double cross Elza double cross is like royal decree it's the fine cards that we want with Elza double cross the cards that the card you're going to find with this is she who knows so if you've got this in your hand to keep it in the first round because you want to basically find um she who knows to have um 
resilience for the last round. So a uh, really good card to thin your deck and also find cards that we want. Then we have Whisper's Tribute. This is to use all the organic cards that we have, uh, such as spawning more drones or control as well with natural selection. Um, so yeah, this is basically to, again, a bit of thinning and finding cards that we can't find in the first round. Then we have Osrel. Osrel, as we said for Yergon, we're going to basically consume the highest point card. So if your opponent obviously has a higher point card in the graveyard, we consume that. But we mainly probably will have ours. So this can play up to like 14 points. Um, so obviously, read the description if you're playing the melee, consumes your opponents, you put it in the range, you consume your own graveyard. So really good to basically to uh, keep recycling points into our side. Then we have Pugo, uh, Boombreaker. Uh, so we play this quite obviously carefully because with the ability you need to know how to play this correctly because uh, you can damage yourself by and just lose points so you what you want to try and do uh, as it says in deploy it will damage a random enemy uh, by three um, or if there's no enemies to destroy it will actually damage yourself by five so obviously we don't want to do that damage yourself by five so we want to get the full 11 points out of this so what you want to try to do is use your leader ability with this um, and then spawn one drone which is worth one point um, so you place this down it will do destroy that obviously you don't can't destroy it by three because it's only worth one point and it will stay alive with 11 points um obviously so this plays for a total of 10 points um if you play with a drone so really good uh card um point slam to put down straight away maybe on your first turn um on the last round then we have sigrith uh so or i call him denzel um so we want this to purify as many drones as we can so before we use glut to warp we want to consume uh, is what actually want to purify all the drones so we put them in our graveyard and keep them because we're going to eat all of them later so really good card to have guys uh, especially in the first round if you're going to try and spawn all your drones then we have more to tart or however you say it and this is going to consume all the drones that we had in our graveyard after we purified them because we keep them obviously you want to play this um after uh, Osrel because you want to um, consume Yergan and get the full 14 points then you play this after so make sure you don't put this down because you will consume the big point card that you wanted early so be careful when consuming cards here so you want to play this a bit probably later on in the last round then we have quite, in my opinion, quite a trolley card, uh, Predatory Dive. So this basically, you may, if you have red coin and your opponents put probably, I don't know, Calvate down, a high point card, and uh, you know you can't, probably can't compete with it, you play this and destroy it straight away. So the opponent goes back to zero. Um, so yeah, you can hit, actually you can do this two ways you can either spawn a drone on your side and have still high point cards on your side um and then uh use this so that destroys one of their lowest enemies and our lowest enemy is going to be oh, just a one point drone so really good card to have guys to control your opponent playing high point cards to put pressure on you at the start then we have griffin as i said griffin is for mamuna so we only use one griffin in the first round and then we keep the other griffin in our deck we don't we don't want to see it again because mamuna is going to call that one out uh, so griffin basically is a good point card to have obviously it's nine points but it has to destroy a card you want to destroy a drone which is worth one uh, so it's a total of eight points really to get out of that um so yeah uh, we want to have this in the first round then we have the wild hunt riders to thin our deck this is the first this is basically the first card that we put down if we know uh we're not probably gonna have dominance because you need to have dominance to summon the rest uh so yeah probably one of the first cards that you put down in round one or in round uh the, the last round if you don't um have obviously last say uh just to get thin your deck and just get a solid eight points out then we have a ratchet's nest so this spawns four drones um so yeah you want to um use these if you're going to use glitzy warp we have two of these in case we don't see one of those so i'll put two in these in here um uh, probably have less control cards uh, so yeah we have these to consume later on then we have natural selection natural selection is for a bit of control and also if it does excess damage it'll actually spawn a drone on our side so a really good card to have for control and also an extra point card on our side to consume or damage to keep a high, high point card on our side then we have kicky more uh, workers which we want to try and not play this is basically a backup version for mamuna to use uh, later on so if griffins we can't use them we can use these instead for uh, mamuna uh, so we don't want to play these because of the exposure if it loses armor it destroys itself so one of the least used cards that we use in this deck then we have Archie Spores. Archie Spores is basically there to consume and then draws the other one out once it's uh, got, obviously, had the Death Wish activated. Uh, so this can be either destroyed if it is at all, uh, been quite damaged quite a lot as a one-point card or just consume if you have one of consume cards in your hand. 
Then we have a warrior. So this basically is for probably archer spores or any of cards that we want to consume that has status that we want to probably keep if some, something's going to die or something. So uh, really good card to have to solve a bit more problems and uh, contain more points and will probably draw more points by some other things. Then we have Drainer. Drainer, in my opinion, very underrated. Drainer is for five um, points. So if you put something higher than it, it will gain a point each time. But what its ability is good at, it will move an enemy to a different row. So stop any enemies that are locked in row. That has to be locked in a row uh, using their ability. And also damages them by two. So a really good card to have, Drainer is... So guys, that is our uh, deck. We're going to show some gameplay of me using it. So basically what we want to try and do is Mamuna for the last round for value. Uh, we could use Glitter Warp in the first round by using our leader charges and consuming um, all the one point cards that we want. Um, so yeah, basically it's just setting up for the next round to have high points for the next round. Um, so these this deck guys can really overwhelm your opponent with just high points of consuming our own cards. So let's see some gameplay of me using it guys and hope you enjoy. And um, yeah, let's get straight into the gameplay oh interesting okay so we've got kelly this is gonna be interesting kelly's gonna be might be slightly nerfed with um not nerfed sorry slightly at a disadvantage with our drones was all said nerf uh so archie spores goes back mamuna goes back that's it really okay quite a good first oh actually Azrael, but that's farm. We can deal. We can deal with that. We'll deal with it. Drain is going to be good here because we can move Kelly. Who are you going to call out, Mister Opponent? Your defender. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do first, which I think is probably the most wisest decision to make is move the defender so kelly's exposed i've got to let, let him think about me having kelly now depending on what he plays next i feel like i need to get <laughs> oh guys you ready for this look at this approach your dive He's going to use leader charge? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I can use this then. So, watch this. Kelly goes straight away. Bye-bye, Kelly. So, your Kelly plan is gone. What are you going to do now, Mr. Opponent? So, no Kelly, no defender in the first round. Where's your points going to come from? Okay. You, put, you keep putting stuff there. Okay, so I'm now going to um, play Yargon here. I think probably in the melee. No, I don't want to play melee. I'll go range. So, yeah, already doing well against our opponent. So, um... I may play Boom Breaker in the last round. And now I'm still going to play Griffin now and destroy that. If he actually puts... This is actually good for us. If he actually puts... Gets an 18-point card, Igni's looking good for us. And I think I'm probably going to use Glutzy probably in the last round. Yeah, cool. this is going to be definitely last round. Put my opponent in, the, in a sticky situation here, haven't I? Being on red coin, you're not sure what to do. This one is nearly drained. Fetch me another. Don't you have it in your deck? Hello? Have you got it in your hand? Have you got spear tip in your hand? Oh my word, my friend, you have messed up. Okay, um... So... I want to keep all these, though. I can't, obviously, 
Okay, we could treat it, could you, Glitzy? Could you use Glitzy in this round to secure it? Maybe not actually, because I probably want Denzel. But oh, no, I don't. I can't get Denzel. So ideally, I wanted Denzel, but we don't have him. Okay. Don't make me laugh. Absolutely fine with me. So I'll just keep. I'll use. My, I'll use my full leader here. And then use um, Glitzy. Nice. He just wants another card. That's all he wants. Just another card. Uh, so I can actually. St I should stop that happening. Should I let him keep boosting that for a bit? Actually, I'll wait for a minute. I'll wait for a minute. Let's just put this down. I can't consume it. I'll then Igni. I'm ruining his plans. Igni and Rooney's plans, that's the that's the plan. And that's the good thing being on red coin, I can now decide. Okay. Weird. Okay, so we're gonna Igni here. Let's get this over with. So he doesn't get a draw card draw. And then I've obviously got more cards, but I've got a two and a two. Mate, it's looking good for me, my friend. Unless he's got a heat wave, he can only win this. Um, yeah, I'll play I'll play this down. I'll take the hit. That's fine. He's gonna pass here. He can't get Kelly out again. Can't purify Kelly, so Kelly's gone. Just need Mamuna. We're gonna pass there because I've got nothing to consume. I could have consumed. I could consume their defender, but I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not desperate. Okay. GG. Pirates. Pirates haven't got any pirates against this tech yet, so it's gonna be interesting. Um, right. So, want to keep you? Want to keep you? Probably don't want you. We probably don't want you either. You watch me brick now, Ryder. Okay, that's good. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, um, good first hand. Probably Royal Decree for Denzel. Stick Red, yeah. Let's get him. We'll get we'll get him to purify all the things that I'm gonna make. Oh, well, actually no, I can't because I want to consume them with. Uh, okay. It just actually depends what how I want to play it. To be fair. No, I'll probably save it. I'll probably save Royal Decree then if I don't get it. Yeah, so if I can get ideally more. Any got the courage? Let's go and kill that. It's under so such a good card, Predator dive. Um. Come on! Uh, what we're we gonna do here? Should we get our biggest unit out? Put him out. Eight armor, not too bad. Um, wait, wait, oh my god, are you, are you that desperate? Are you that desperate, my friend? Okay, so we can't, we can't eat him uh, later. But we'll I have to eat one of his cards later. Uh, oh no, I should have probably placed you down with a leader. That's okay. We'll deal with it. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't mind actually using this now. That's not too bad for us. We can probably consume that later. Well, destroy it with Griffin. Um, yeah, I'm interested actually what to do here. Wow. If you want to pass, you got to pay. Can't make it through elseways. That's fine. Um, we probably want to now. Probably use our Thrive. Just throw you away. Throw you at the back. Um, we're doing well, on, I'd say, on Red Coin. We need to probably consume a card soon, though. Uh, so let's get some Mamuna value here. And then I don't mind going one card down. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um... Uh, do I keep pushing here? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go and damage something here. Uh, probably this. So we can't kill that. So you can kill our little cards if he wanted to. Another there, and hopefully we will. Oh, God's sake. Why are you that desperate, mate? Why are you that desperate for this round? What can I get out here? M oh, God, I need my griffin to die, really. Um, he wants this round, doesn't he? I can tell. Um... Let's just go and throw these out. My plan of using uh, Segfried is not going to plan too well. He's probably thinking, how is he going to win this with them? You'll find out, my friend. You're going to damage. Oh, God. He does not, for the life of him, want me to win this round. For the life of him. Um, okay. I think we have to call that quits. Nothing we can do to catch up now. Okay, so... Using a lot of gold cards there, we've... Kind of got a bit of a win out of it. Maybe... Okay, so... We want Mamuna really, don't we? Let's get rid of you... Are you any use? Okay, you probably can consume that. He's probably no use this round. Is he going to pass? If he passes... That's good. Fine, we get rid of you. What could we consume here? Okay. Yeah, we've got leader as well, haven't we? So I might actually just throw this out. That's fine, mate. He's looking to go for the 2 0, which in one way is actually technically benefiting me.
So, Gluster, you're going to go out. I know you can get one hit damage. But that might make him pass now. No, okay. Fair enough, Mr. Opponent. So now we get Mamuna out because he wants the 2 0. And then we're probably going to get. He'll pass now, I think. He's used Heat Wave. That's fine. That's fine, so we win by one point, but we don't get... Yeah, we win by one point. Uh, sorry, three points. Two points, actually, I forgot about the ship. So we get a card advantage. Um, the only thing I'm going to be worried about, if he brings... If Kushia brings back um, Crack. Nice. Oh, this is really good for us, to be fair. Right, Igni, you're gonna be you're not gonna be good in this round, so I don't need Ign Igni. So consume you, consume, consume, yeah. This is all we want. What can we consume here? Consume ten, eleven. Okay, this is looking good. Right. Let's throw you out. He's going to Fikusia, I think, if he gets, if he's drawn Fikusia. If he kills it, that's fine. I'm still getting a card. Okay. So, we're doing well on that point, and then we're going to play you and Melee. And then my finisher card, Hosril, if I can win it by that. Nice. Nice. You shouldn't be able to kill this in one card. Mork Titan, you're going to come in clutch to be fair. You shouldn't be killing that one card. If he does, we still win from consuming something. I think we win by... Because he's got to think about it. Do I kill that? Oh, yes. GG, guys. And I'll go and eat... Per laugh, I'll go and eat his crack. Where is he? Where is he gone? Oh, he's got. Oh no, I've missed him. Okay, we win. Nice, GG. So guys, that's the deck. Don't forget to uh, watch me live uh, playing Gwent um, on Twitch at Normal Life Gaming. So check the link below, the decks below as well, guys. And also subscribe to this channel. And um, I'll see you all in my next video.